From the KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. Organizers say they were officially notified on October 4th their petitions do have enough signatures to move ahead with the recalls of Brookings Mayor Hedenskog and Councillors Schreiber and Morosky. That means unless those targeted for recall resign, there will be a special election. So KCIW reached out to Curry County Clerk Shelley Denny to find out what happens next, and she was very helpful. Now, you should know that Denny is a veteran when it comes to elections and recalls. She's worked at the county for nearly three decades, so she knows her way around elections and recalls. She says the process for recalls here in Curry County is regulated and is very specific. Uh, the recall petition had to be filed with uh, the city, um, and the city um, approves that recall for circulation. And once the uh, petitioners collect enough signatures, uh, it goes back to the city. Uh, the city has to verify that the all the uh, signature uh, petition sheets have um, are the ones that were approved for circulation. And then once she has done that, or the city has done that, um, they bring those to our office for signature verification. And then uh, once uh, the signature verification process is done, um, I certify how many signatures we verified um, or rejected, and then um, give those results to the city. And then the city has to... um, qualify it to a ballot um, if there were enough signatures or disqualify it if there's not enough signatures. I see. So it's a little bit of a back and forth. Correct. I see. I see. And you said um, validate signatures. Now, I know that validating signatures means looking at something. What, What do you do when you validate a signature? What is it that you're looking at? So uh, we look at every signature on the petition sheet and compare it to the signature in uh, the voter registration record. That's got to be tedious work. Yes. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So um, I know that that there's a threshold for the number of um, signatures that have to be validated for the petition. Do you just stop? Um, counting after you've reached the number of valid signatures, or do you keep counting um, all of the signatures? No, we we stop once we've received um, the required amount. The petitions that were returned had uh, quite a few over um, what was required, and so as soon as we um, got to the point of, I think it was 463 required signatures, um, we stop. I see. I see. So what happens now? What happens uh, next? So um, the city uh, notifies uh, the chief petitioners as well as the uh, persons that are uh, being trying to be recalled. And then uh, they have five days to either resign or uh, submit a statement on uh, a statement of justification on why why they shouldn't be recalled. And then there is an election. Yes, then there has to be an election held within 35 days after that five days. So is that something that you are coordinating or is it something that you coordinate with the city to make happen? It's something we coordinate together. We are currently uh, in an election cycle right now, we have the city of uh, Gold Beach and the city of Port Orford um, both have measures on the November 7th election. Um, so we're getting ready to mail ballots out for that election. Um, ballots go out uh, between the 18th and the 24th. So ballots for those elections will go out between the 18th and the 24th and ballots for the recall election will go out at the same time? Uh, more than likely, yes, that w- that um, is going to be the case. And this is, you know, if um, there's no resignations, uh, we'll um, hold the election on November 7th. Okay. Um, now, there, there's been a little bit of talk around town that Mayor Hedenskog wants to change how we do this election. Have you heard anything about that or do you know anything about that? I do not. 
What do you mean change? Well, there's talk, and I'm really not, I'm, that's honestly why I'm asking you, there's talk around town. Um, there was an article in the in the pilot where Mayor Hedenskog wants to have a one-day in-person uh, balloting and no mail-in. You have to go in person. So that seems a, a, a pretty far stretch to me. I mean, I would think that that would be going against Oregon election laws, but I'm just wondering if you've heard of anything like that and and what would your reaction be if that was attempted? Uh, no, that that wouldn't happen. You're correct. Uh, we are vote by mail. Um, we're not a polling place. Um, and I, I have not spoken to him at all regarding this issue. You've been listening to Curry County Clerk Shelley Denny, who says there are enough valid signatures to move ahead with a special election regarding the recalls of Brookings Mayor Hedenskog and Councilors Morosky and Schreiber if they don't resign. Hedenskog, Schreiber, and Morosky each voted to reinstate Janelle Howard to her job as city manager after she was arrested on July 4, 2022, for theft. Howard spent seven months on paid leave before being reinstated to her job in early February, despite strong public opposition. A Brookings police officer resigned, multiple city employees wrote a letter in protest, and council chambers were packed with citizens over several months, many of whom asked the council not to reinstate Howard. Now, petitioners say those pleas were ignored by Hedenskog, Schreiber, and Morosky, and that's what prompted the recall. KCIW has been following this story for more than a year. You can find multiple reports on our website, kciw.org, and we will continue to bring you updates as they occur. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.